uh, 57 years old. I definitely am not too old for CrossFit. I'm probably in better shape now than I was when I was in my 40s. CrossFit has been very beneficial for me. That's just overall all-around fitness. Yeah, there's no question I'm more fit now. So, you know, I'm not too old. I don't think anybody who's still breathing is too old for CrossFit. started like really started CrossFit like four years ago really just to go in and participate with my my daughter's activity she was doing it she was really heavy into it at the time and we just were visiting so we just chimed in we just went into the gym and, and gave it a go so we did that for about a month I think and then we went back up north for the summer and I didn't jump back in but my wife kind of did she was a lot more diligent to me and I didn't you know, like I say it was not until the next February when I finally you know the ski season was kind of wrapping up and she was all excited about the open she did the open that year and uh, um, so I figured okay well, I'll come I'll watch her at least and cheer her on and uh, then I got sucked in you know again I found out really how badly out of shape I was and then I thought well you know maybe if I can do this and get to the point where I can keep up with my grandkids till they're 12, then that's a good goal for me. It's just to try and be able to do things with my kids, do things with my grandkids and not be, you know, stuck on the couch or, you know, just gibbled up, not able to participate. I didn't even know what goals I should have when I went into CrossFit. In all honesty, I had no idea. Um, I just went in to just try and be there and do it and just do what I could do each day. And that's still what I do, actually. I mean, I just show up and just huff and puff and get my way to the workout. You know, I just do a little bit more now than I did before. And that's actually probably what my goal is. If I can just get a little bit better each year, it means I'm getting better, not worse. So if I can keep that trend going, you know, for 10, 20, 30 years, that'd be fantastic. That means I'm actually better when I'm 80 than I am at 50. I don't know if there's a term for it, but you know, I had three decades of being crouched over a keyboard looking at a terminal, you know, a screen. And so my body was just brittle and gibbled up and bent over and all that kind of stuff. But it is night and day different compared to when I started, you know. Um, I can actually squat and things like that. I can actually put my hands over my head without my shoulders locking up and, you know, things like that. So, yeah, there's been tremendous differences just in, in the range of motion that my body has improved uh, with, not just the strength or, you know, the extra uh, lungs or whatever, just to be able to go a little harder, a little longer or whatever, but just, just actually able to move better. And that's still not what it should be, but it's, uh, it's just so much better. Our new five cleaning jerks. We'll do three synchro bar muscle ups. We'll come back to double unders, go back up to the higher rings for synchro ring muscle ups. We'll do synchro pistols, go up for a rope climb, and finish off with wall balls. Okay. Age is no limit to CrossFit. There can be kids that come in, there's kids classes, kids coach classes. My kids, for instance, come in here and they have the best jungle gym on the planet. And that's the beauty of being a kid, their innocence to what they don't know and the fact that they don't have that, that block or that marker saying, well, I'm too old to do this, or I have a shoulder injury, or back in college this happened to me. They just do it. They see somebody do it and they just do it. 
And if that same mindset were to carry over into adulthood all the way up until 60s, 70s, 80s and say, well, if somebody else can do it, I can do it, regardless of what my past may be or what I see someone else may do. And of course, you may not do the exact same movement, but there's a scale of movement for you to do. So we should kind of leave that, that impedance out of the gym and say, well, if somebody else can do it, I can do it. And that's sort of that any, anything in life, people want to take that first step, but it always takes that one leader, that one individual to show that this is possible. My youngest son uh, is really big into mountain biking. So he introduced me to that last summer and we just had a blast. And there's no way I could have went out, you know, on a 10 mile mountain bike up and down hills and mountains and trails like that uh, if I hadn't been doing CrossFit. You know, you may as well have just brought a shovel along and buried me about a mile in because it wouldn't have happened. But as it was, I mean, he had to slow down and wait for me every now and again, but I was able to keep kind of trucking along and I really enjoyed it, you know, so. I think that's probably what the future is, is that there's still, you know, some sports that I've never done or some other things uh, that I will be physically prepared to do. And that's kind of what the CrossFit is about. It just allows me to be physically prepared to do whatever might come along and, and not hurt myself. I don't think there's any age nor disability that can prevent anybody from doing CrossFit. Um, there's people who you see in wheelchairs doing CrossFit, and of course they're not doing squatting, but that doesn't prevent them from doing CrossFit. Oh, right. <sighs> life's a little different. <sighs> it, it helps you in all aspects, and it, it would definitely help somebody who's older who maybe needs to get the wheelchair in here, you know, from the nursing home, but they put two days a week in and they have to get assisted standing up. Maybe it, you know, two years down the road, they can actually shake that wheelchair. And, you know, that's inspirational. CrossFit now for me is, is just part of the, uh, uh, just part of the lifestyle. I mean, it's just, it's just, I just do it at least a, like say a few times a week, try to hit it. And uh, you know, it just, it's just, it's just on the schedule. You know, like I'm definitely a workaholic, and never have been, there's no, no arguing with that. Um, but just having something where you really pretty much leave the phone in the car. You know, when you go into the box, that's what you're doing. And you know, it's nice to have that hour break from everybody everything you're just trying to do what you can do the coach is helping you uh, improve and get through whatever you're working out same with the other people that are working out I mean we all go in there and we die together and uh, you know it's just the young people do a heck of a lot more while they're dying than, than I do when you get older um, you obviously start thinking about time a little more carefully and the time that you have left. Um, you sort of start reminiscing about the good old days, as we all say, and you don't have to be 80. We seem to reach 30, and then high school seems like so long ago, you're so wise all of a sudden. But when you get to those, those later years, you're just wanting more of that time. And I think just like a bad diet or bad habits um, can shorten your life, I also think that CrossFit can have longevity in your life. But even if it can't, and you still have this predetermined idea that I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass at this age, isn't it worth it to be healthier all the way up to that point? And I know for a fact CrossFit can do that. So it's better to come in here and be healthy up until that day, even if you can't extend your life, to be 100% healthy functioning, a full squat, not falling on, on the ground and breaking your hip. I mean, that's the big story we all hear. Um, your grandparents get old, and they fall, they break their hip, and 
they spiral down in health from that point in time because they've been brittle. And now they don't move. Now they lose even more of what they didn't have. And it seems like their last two years of their life was just wasted in a chair. Well, CrossFit can change that. And where you would have fallen before, you might not even fall. Nevertheless, not break something. You may just have created that coordination to slip on that bit of ice when you're up in the Northern States and not fall. And if CrossFit can prevent that, it's worth it right there. No matter what scaling you may be doing, you don't have to be doing spectacular moves, but you just have to be functioning better. You just gotta function the way you used to. And so for that preventative maintenance, basically to not let the, the engine die, and get a bunch of sludge in it, that's what CrossFit will do. It'll just clean things up. You'll just move a little bit better, move a little bit faster, be a little bit stronger. When you have the coaching that you have in CrossFit, it doesn't matter what the movement is or what the physical capability someone is has. Uh, there can be a substitute or a scale. It's called scaling in CrossFit. And so, um, you know, you might not be able to pick up a barbell when you first start. Well, you know, every, everybody is taught actually how to pick up a barbell by picking up a piece of plastic tube, you know. So, um, and pretty much everybody can do that, but even if they can't do that, um, there's other scales. You can, put the, you can put the plastic tube up on a couple of boxes so they don't have to bend all the way down if that's what their issue is. So it doesn't matter what you can do when you start CrossFit. If you just start it and uh, listen to the coaches, and do what they say, and then within a week or a month or whatever it is, you know, for your schedule of how much effort you're putting in, you're now able to pick up that plastic pipe. You're able to pick up that barbell. I would encourage anybody to give it one try. Um, nine years old, come in. If you need help from the car to the gym, call the coach before. Say, I'm coming to your class, but I'm gonna need help getting to the, to, into the gym. Um, I've got my grandson driving me there. Um, I got a handicap sticker in the window because I'm just old and I need to take the car around the HEB now, that sort of thing. But I need you to help me get in there because I'm gonna try this CrossFit thing. Anybody who's considering CrossFit, you've kind of, you've already got, you know, half the, half the battle sorted out. And the next half of the battle is to walk into a box and introduce yourself to the coach, talk to him, and actually hear from somebody who coaches and maybe see a class or do a drop in or whatever, but just come in and you know, come in with a kind of a, a clear mind or a blank slate, not, not like all the misconceptions that seem to be out there about what CrossFit is. I mean, I, I understand the misconceptions, because what you usually see when you see CrossFit is you see uh, Rich Froning or uh, Tia Claire Toomey or whatever, and these people are unbelievable. And that's not really what CrossFit is about for 99.999% of the people who do it. You know, like for me, I'm just trying to get a little better at whatever I do, you know, one year to the next, or one week to the next, whatever it is. I'm just trying to get a little better. I'm just trying to be a little more fit. So if you want to improve your fitness, uh, you know, CrossFit's definitely the way to go. And age is no, no uh, block on that.